Alrighty. Aloha, everybody. This is Jeff with No Worries Bricks. Behind me is my lovely wife, Angie, who is also worry-free at the moment. Uh, today we're doing our Those Are Some Good Meatballs Breaks number one. It's a Facebook group exclusive. I appreciate each and every one of you guys who's joining us today or watching it after the fact. Uh, for those of you who are new, welcome. For those of you who have been with us before, welcome back. Like I said, we appreciate each and every single one of you. And the, for those of you who are just hanging out with us uh, and not in the break, we appreciate you too. Thank you guys very much. Um, the disclaimer we give on the in every single one of our breaks is um, we do live out in the middle of nowhere in Kansas, and sometimes our internet can be temperamental, uh, I guess is the best word for it. So if at any time during the live stream uh, it blacks out, reverses, there's no sound, someone doesn't get tagged in the live video, I, I don't, all kinds of weird stuff has happened, skips, rewinds, a dog eats the cord. dog eats the ether or the category six cable, had that happen a couple weeks ago, don't worry. To my right, there's a separate computer completely separate from the live with two separate camera angles recording simultaneously. One camera right next to the one you're looking at on live and then one over to my left that has the overall view of all the cards, where they go, where they've been, all that good stuff. And that is what we post up to our YouTube channel, No Worries Card Breaks, at the end of the evening. And if you don't want to sit here and listen to us blabber all evening while we do the break, you can fast forward to the end where we do a hit recap. Or if you don't even want to watch us or listen to us at all, and your mute button doesn't work, no problem. Angie takes photographs of the hits after the end of the break and we put them up on the Facebook group page as well. Oh, so. they would love to interact with us, right guys? Yay. <laughs> and I don't know if she puts that on Twitter, like the pictures and stuff, I don't know if you even do yep. that. Okay. Instagram and Twitter. She'll put that on Instagram and Twitter as well, so. Always. Excellent. So, let's, the break is gonna consist of six boxes, one box, 2021 Clearly Authentic Baseball, one box, Hobby box of 2022 Bowman baseball. One hobby box of 2021 Allen and Ginter. Two boxes of 2021 Bowman Inception baseball. And one box of 2022 Tops Inception baseball. So, ooh. the break's full, so all the spots sold, so that's a bonus. Yeah, yeah. It means more cards out of the house. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so let's start with Alan and Ginter first. Am I missing anything before we start? Nope. I'm tagging everybody currently. So everybody's getting tagged. We do have viewers, which means we are live. Ew, and it went out to people. All right, excellent. So Hobby Box, look for any of these three cards. Autograph cards, relic cards, rip cards, printing plates, and book cards. This does have a top loader in it. And we'll open that at the end of the box, and that gets treated like everybody else. Oh, one other thing I forgot. I knew I was forgetting something. If we do pull a card, that, uh, a hit that has more than one team represented on it, we will put those teams uh, represented on the card into random.org in the list randomizer, randomize it six times, and after the sixth randomization, whatever team is on the very top of the list, that's what uh, team the card goes to. So just in case we pull a, a card, a hit card multiple teams on so you never know. All right, one oversized box loader. We will open that here very shortly. Very nice, very nice. Oop. I'm really excited to talk to you about some of the Twitter drama, because I know you don't do the Twitter. I don't do the Twitters, but... Angie does the Twitter. All right, so these go. We go through these pretty quickly. These kind, any hits and stuff like that, we stop on. So don't worry about. Hey, Sean G. What's up? Yes, the drama that I have heard about is the definitive phony baloney autographs on the Rosarina. I can't remember the other guy's card. Hey, Sutton. Judge miniature. A judge. Aaron Judge. He's doing pretty awesome oh, this year. Oh, Aaron Judge. I was like, I thought you meant. We got our judge. first hit. Sutton said you're sure. a slacker. I am. Victor Robles for the Washington Nationals underwear card. He's wearing black underwear, or did wear some black underwear in this one, or dark blue. I don't know if I'm colorblind. This is not numbered. <laughs> so, but right now, they, the, isn't it, it was tops, right? Yeah, definitive. $2,000 a box. I think there's eight cards. Because top says it's under investigation. It is, and something about quality control because of COVID. Gaylord Perry miniature. Sutton wants to know if the other card was a UFO. No, it was a shark. There's a, the UFO cards aren't in this year, in 2021. Yes, Dave P. 
Austin Meadow and Yes, Aries. and Randy Rosarina. Rosarina. Dual auto. Signed and by the same per it looks I mean, I don't know if it's TJ Levin Levine. I don't know, he hosts Real World, I think, on MTV. But yeah, that was pretty gnarly, so I haven't gotten any, into any definitive ones, but I saw the press release by Tops today that they guarantee, you know, that this is not a norm uh, for it, that um, they're looking into it, blah, blah, blah. They gave anybody, they said there should only be 50 of those, the good for you blueberries. Mm, sure. Delicioso. They're giving, contact Tops, each one of those people that pulls a, one of those cards is getting a free box of definitive and a replacement, I guess. I'm like, wow, that's pretty good at Tops. I mean... But like I said, they blamed it on the uh, quality control because COVID. Or, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. But it's two thousand dollars a box. I, I don't even want to take that chance. India <laughs> miniature for the Reds, not numbered. Yeah, people. Some people will message us and ask, "Hey, oh, that's cool. We got another hit." Uh, I, after or before the main Oh, heat. wait. I forgot. We did get an underwear hit. I'm so sorry. Micah, Micah asked what we, he missed, and I Victor said Robles relic for the Nationals, and then we have a John Smoltz piece of underwear, Hall of Fame pitcher, as well as a Junk Wax era hero oh, for the Hotland and Braves. Ooh, for the Braves. John Smoltz, Smoltz with his sweet mustache in his card. Always the best. Always the best. So, yeah, that's been... That would be Kevin S. You get a fine piece of underwear, so... John Smoltz underwear. And what was the other hit? I'm so sorry, because my Victor guess. Robles for the Nationals Swatch underwear card. Ooh. Cubs, Chris Bryant miniature. Yes, and the Nationals was um, Ryan G. Uh-oh, Drew says, the one-of-one one Shohei logo has been pulled. So no more definitive chasing. Oh. Wow. oh, Micah says he's been playing with the puppies. He got two new Oh, yeah, puppies. I saw the picture. Very they nice. Very far, far cute. away. Galaxy card. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of the definitive videos and pictures. Mike Trout must have been bored, and so he signed a lot of cards. <laughs> they pulled a lot of Mike Trout cards of the people I've seen. A couple of Tawny and Trout dual autos and all that good stuff. Like, So that. you may have a chance. Oh, uh, I don't. I'm not going to. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to break definitive. It's pretty expensive for, I mean, it's a big risk box right. of cards. Javier Baez miniature. If I was going to buy one, I'd just open it all myself. But it's not going to be worth it. Uh, no matter what it is. Well, if you get one of those sweet cards. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not too jacked up on definitive. Mm -hmm. Black Border... Corbin for the Nationals, miniature. Anderson, Martinez. So that's the drama that I've seen. But lots of definitive. Oh. Getting over. Drew opened. also does uh, breaking, and he says as a breaker, he overkills his research. Yep. Excellent. Awesome sauce. Sean G. He was in a platinum break the other day. They pulled a gold out of 50 trout auto and he thought of you <laughs> oh yeah if i would have been that break i wouldn't have got it so debbie garcia miniature for the yankees <laughs> yes my husband still buys into breaks every now and then please don't let him oh well, i buy into breaks all the time but i still don't pull any mike trouts and the two that i have up here i did not pull either one of them i had bought them from members that's the only way that i could <laughs> or trade or trade that's the only way i get mike trouts any of the hits or anything like that so. yeah he buys them or trades for him but again, you all heard me. Please don't let him in breaks. <laughs> uh, it's still going to happen. Buzz Bissin Bissinger, journalist and author, major. Oh, is that like the Basinger thing? Is it Basinger? Bissinger, is it Bissinger. Bissinger? Bissinger? I don't know. It's a guy. Bissinger? <laughs> it was a running joke. Anyways. Okay, so Twitter. Fun. You got to hear the Twitter. Let's drama. hear it. I'm ready. Okay, so yesterday this... Um, I don't know where this girl is like, I'm new to car, you know, I'm new to cards and yeah. the, the hobby. Candelario, Ginterback, Tigers. And, and she mentions like a heavy, like a, a heavy Twitter person in the game, which is 
um, the card purchaser. She's uh-huh. like, and, and she added, you know, tagged him. She's like, at card purchaser, I heard you're like the guy to talk to. And da, da, da. of course, she's super gorgeous, right? Nice. You know, yeah. And immediately, all the guys were either, this is a scam. Right. Or they were like, completely, go- like, Robinson miniature, not her. Like, like going gotcha. after her. Nice. And. This poor girl, either way, it could have been a dude, it could have been, but it doesn't matter because this poor person, whoever they may be, um, within like 10 minutes mm-hmm. received like a billion DMs, whether she was a scammer or like completely sniffing over her or like, you know, inappropriate picture. This Oh, guy. unsolicited pictures. Uh-huh. Oh, those are not good. Don uh-huh. Sutton for the Dodgers, Ginterbeck, miniature. Nice. So immediately, like, I you know, respond to her her tweet, and I'm like, hey, just a heads up, this is why I don't use my picture. That's right. Um, Well, I do on my personal one, but that's not card-related. Right. Because card-related, no girls use their picture. No, that's not true. No, in in Twitter. Oh, oh, oh. oh. They don't, because... Alejandro Kirk? People will take advantage of it. He's doing, like, baller, man. Is he? Yeah. For the Blue Jays? He's like out of nowhere, all-star catcher. So this poor person within, I don't, it wasn't even that long, had thousands of people friend her, Ooh. but go at, some went after her and more than, it was horrible. But anyways, uh, by today, her, his or her account was suspended. Like they totally got rid of it. Yeah. Ozzy Albies for the Braves. And it probably was a scam. No, if you get that harassed, I don't know. I wouldn't put up with it either. But, so, to all my females who are in the card world, don't use your picture. Yeah. No, because no way is that going to work out in their favor. All right, we got a hit in here. It's a frame something. I can see it. The manatee card. A manatee. Or a bueller. Oh. The miniature on the back. Ichiro, miniature for the Mariners, not numbered. Nice. Cunningham. Oh, no team. Oh, good for them. Randall Cunningham, autographed, framed autograph, 5 of 25. He's a football quarterback. Oh, wow. So the no team got it. No team. No uh, team. Jay. Is it JP? Yep, I think is that one. Yeah, it is JP. That's the gray framed numbered five of twenty five autograph. Randall Cunningham. Wow. Sweet. He's like a junk wax era football player. Nice. It's definitely awesome. That is a good. I take that one. That's a good one. That is a good one. That's Today. it. I'll give a yay to that one. Yay. Yay to that one. Congratulations. Well, I, congratulations, JP. Well, I disagree with you. The world's largest. World's largest. Bala- it looks like a Bala- some sort of construction equipment there. All right. Earth mover. Not the world's largest butt. No. No. But anyways, so that's the drama on Twitter. Oh no. I know. And so, but it's really funny because there are some female people on there. So one of the females, um, because one of Liam the Liam Hendricks. One of the last tweets the lady did, or gentleman, was like, I don't know why these people won't believe me. Do I just need to go live and, sh- you know, show them a female or, like, uh, flat iron my hair or something for an hour or what? And then so a bunch of the girls are now, like, showing pictures of themselves, like, flat ironing their hair. Oh, and do it in, in uh, sports cards. It's, yes, yeah. yes. Pete Alonzo, Ginterback miniature for the Mets. You know, know me, I'm always... It's just with... social media, so... I know. I mean, that's why I avoid putting my photograph on any of our social media. I just don't want to be inundated with all the hot chicks <laughs> DMing me. I don't want them all up in my DMs, you know. I, I have too much to deal with now with all the ladies DMing me. So, you know, I appreciate it, everyone, all the ladies, but, you know, that's... That's why I don't... I don't put mine up there, so... Someone come take a... <laughs> But his cards and his laundry come with him. <laughs> Acres miniature, not numbered. She's a tennis player. Uh, Jeff will, Sutton will take you, right, Sutton? Yay. 
<laughs> yes, there are too many hot chicks. That's why Jeff never puts his pictures up. That's right. I just want to get my DMs all full. Jose Barrios, twins, miniature, not numbered. <laughs> Sean G, but that's why I'm here bothering you. <laughs> or, or dudes. I mean, I'm, I don't discriminate. My good looks are appealing to everyone. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, right? You couldn't do that. What that one breaker does, where he puts the boxes and cards in inappropriate places. Yeah, that's not fun. Carl Yastrzemski, <laughs> get her bag for the Red Sox. Uh, it's funny though. Well, yeah, he's nude and puts them on. Yeah, that's. I don't want to get card. I mean, I get it. It's like a a it's wow a factor and gimmick. Yeah. It's a gimmick. It's kind of funny. I mean, yeah, you gotta separate yourself, I guess. I get it. Oh, there's no way you would do that. Absolutely not. It would blow up our social media, just all the DMs. <laughs> far, far away. Gallic Caldwell 4 miniature. I could label you as a bear. No. Grrr. <laughs> no, th no thank you. <sighs> Sean G, you can have him. Pass. <laughs> No, you don't want to go Sean G? I'll go with whoever. As long as, <laughs> as long as I support my love of baseball cards. Oh, man, Sean, it's a lot. <laughs> All right, box topper here. Uh, <laughs> this break has surely taken a turn. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's gotten weird, Angie. You got... <laughs> hey, Mike Trout box topper. Yay. Really? For the Angels, but it's just a box loader. But you you never pull that. Oh yeah, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Man, I've been sitting here for a thousand of these damn things. I have a bunch of those. All right, let's do Bowman twenty twenty two Bowman hobby box. You get one autograph per box on average, and let's hope the autographs are real. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I'm gonna name the next break. For those of you who are new, I like to name my breaks funny, hilarious names. It's kind of a pleasure. thinks they are. I think they're funny to me, and that's all I, that matters. Hey, Kevin S. How are you, sir? <laughs> and I, yeah. Uh, so, because I, it's more of like, I wouldn't say making fun of other people's break names or like, well, yeah, it is, so. <laughs> it used to be. Now it's not. Now it's just how we do. Now you just pick out funny quotes, but it used to be like super fantastic. Super, super awesome fire pulling break you know it's like a million emojis and crap everywhere sean g that's hilarious what i'm really here is for the dog carnage stories <laughs> yeah eating walls and all the other good stuff it's just bessie she is crazy all right so ooh, these are nice cabrera we have bessie who's a great Dane. Betts, zero Hassan kim who's an old english bulldog and then cal raleigh for the mariners Chrome. And Emma, who's a chocolate lab. Kevin S. is sitting in a car watching us. And Mr. Well, we're doing well. And Lorenzo for the Astros. Sutton is sitting by the pool. Talk about slacker, Sutton. Mm hmm. Kevin, stay safe out in that storm, buddy. Oh, Virtual. Virtuos, what is this? Vibration? What? Virtuosic Vibrations, Brady House Nationals. It's a cool looking card. Insert. Though. Oh, yes. I like it. That is cool. It's a neat looking one. Peyton Wilson. And then our Chrome are Jay Allen for the Reds and Jose Salas for the Marlins. Nice. Dude, I feel you, Kevin. He's not driving, just escaping house and cats for a few beers. <laughs> hey, Joe Adele, I heard he might get traded to the Reds. Thank God. Oh, but you'll, what are you going to do with all of your Joe Adele angel collection? Well, he's still an angel, so I, I mean, that's not a bit. I'll have one he's in an angel. Andrew Lara and Marcelo Mayer, Nationals and Red Sox. That's a good place to escape to, is your, is your car. I wonder if I could escape to my car, away from the house and dogs. <laughs> Machado. Cal Here is our autograph. So early in the box. 
Jan Contreras, 289 out of 499 for the Cincinnati Reds. Ah, very nice. Is it Otto? It is. It, who had the Reds? I got I think you. Micah did. Didn't Micah it? had the Reds. Yay, Micah. There you go. Nice. You got a good one, buddy. Awesome sauce. And Micah is busy playing with his new puppies. Yes. Vigna for the Twins, Chrome, and Polanco for the Pirates. So, Chrome. Sean G., we have a new person for dog puppy carnage right there. Yes. He has two puppies. We did that one time. Never eaten. No. Too much. I don't know how anybody would ever do mm, twin babies. Uh -huh. Christian Yelich. Maximo Acosta. Top 100 Chrome insert. Oh, yeah. I forgot you do have a fire pit. Some uh, Taylor Blue Jays, Pete Crow Armstrong for the Cubs. Kevin says it's too wet for the screen in back porch and a fire and his fire pits. So oh, bummer. That's why he's hiding out in the car. Dude, it's, I feel you. It's oppressively hot out here. It's not wet, it's just unbelievably humid and hot. Not very Well, it fun. feels like it's wet when you step outside, yeah. but it's not. It's just you. <laughs> Jason Dominguez, Bowman in 3D insert. But Sutton, it's not humid at Sutton's Justin area. Harris, Bobby Martin Jr. Oswaldo Cabrera, Yankees. Pedro Leon for the Astros Chrome Cards. Is this the first time we're opening this product or something? Yes. Okay. Why? Well, because you're naming all the teams. I'm like, why are you naming all no, the No, no, no. I'm just naming the Chrome. Oh, okay. I was like, why oh. are you naming all the teams? Yay. No offense. But for the Boston Red Sox, 88 out of 150, top 100. I believe this is an atomic or cracked ice. I can't remember what Tops calls it. Is it shiny? It's shiny and uh, like disco ball I think. Oh, I, that's a Joe R card. Yes. 88 of 150, Marcelo <laughs> Mayer. What? Um, Sutton said it's no humid. Reed Detmer for the Angels? It's not humid, it's just hot. Sean G said, so it's moss in your behind crack. Hot. Yes. <laughs> Luca Tresh for the Royals and Amador for the Rockies in the chrome. Yes. It's it's sticky as soon as you walk outside. Yeah, hot. that's gross. Kansas, Kansas is always humid. Eastern Kansas is humid. Yeah. Sutton Eastern lives Kansas. in the desert, so it yeah. is not. He lives in central, central and western, southwest Kansas are very hot. High five futures, Jason Dominguez, insert. And no water. From Unions, and we have a paper blue, 69 of 150, Cooper Kinney for the Tampa Bay Rays. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, people that don't know much about Kansas figure it's all just like, Davis for the Pirates and Hernandez the same, for the Cubs. Like flat with a bunch where of where Dorothy lives. Yeah, flat with a bunch of like farmland. It ain't like that at all. Not where we live. Well, and then you get to Southwest Kansas and it's a desert. It is a true desert. With like tumbleweeds and and, and scorpions mm -hmm. and tarantulas. They do have tarantulas. Yeah, no, that's we don't. Um, Jeff Ramos lived out there for a while. For the. Giants, top 100, chrome insert. Manuel Rodriguez. And then we have Khalil Watson, Marlins, and Colson Montgomery for the White Sox. Chrome cards. Maybe we'll like pull like a super fractor. That'd be sweet. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anything would be so weak. Conic Garrett Cole, Barrio, Freddie Freeman, Juan Soto. Yes, Sean G. Kansas really has a desert. Oh, yes. Yes, it does. Uh, James Wood, Padres, and Wilman Diaz, Dodgers. With, Wilman. like, tumbleweeds. And cactuses and yucca plants. Oh, yes. Yes, Jeff lived there. It sucked. I did not move with him. It was <laughs> not fun. I saw a tra I was on a walk out there, and there was a dead tarantula on the sidewalk, and I was like, yeah, not even the tarantulas can live here. I'm out. Truosic Vibrations, Trey Sweeney for the Yankees. And then Northwest Kansas has, like, it's almost in the mountains. And then we have 26 of 125, Lorenzo for the Astros. I believe it is a teal shimmer. Ooh, 
Teal Shimmer. Ow. The dogs are not fighting, but now they are running around. No, they are. Threatening to... Uh, Eat each other. Or remove the cable from the computer. I, I put it in... Oh, I got I put the rug over it, remember? Oh, yes. Good call. Very, yeah. very smart thinking. Uh, Astros is Matt B. Yes. To go with Chapman. Carlson. Sutton says, it doesn't suck. It's the high desert. No. Martinez for the Blue Jays and Rodriguez for the Dodgers. Chrome cards. Sutton, no. It, it does suck, honey. I'm, I'm so sorry to tell you that. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of the all-star voting, like where people think they're going to go, is out. And I don't know if they're on Twitter or whatever, but it's on Facebook a lot. So I don't know what does everybody think about that. I think they're pretty right. Mike Trout, what's up? I think Jazz Chisholm is in there. Mike Trout said he wasn't going to move anywhere. No, to the All-Star game. Oh, to the All-Star game. I thought you meant like no. they were thinking about trading for next year. No, no, no. Because... Alec Thomas for the D-backs, top 100. Uh -huh. Sean G uh, says that All-Star voting is freaking BS. Okay, well, who do they think? Like, what do they think about this? what it's out there now, I guess? Baez for the Cardinals and Dominguez for the Mets. A couple sweet scratches on his face right there. And you can't see Oh, Kevin well. S., don't worry. You're not missing much going through Kansas. You can just stop off in Kansas City, and you don't need to go oh, through it's, the rest. Oh, it is just the heart of flyover states. Yeah, just there's... Stop off in Kansas City. You don't need to go to I think else. we're ranked last uh, as far as, like, attractions, tourist <laughs> attractions. Sutton just said I could see the drywall mud in your nails. That is correct. <laughs> Henry Davis, High Five Futures. Okay, Sean G says, how the hell is J-Ram left out of the All-Star? Garcia for the Phillies, Montgomery for the Rockies. I don't know. I don't know if it's drywall mud or my cuticles are just dry. It could be that. Washing them all the time from the drywall mud. So. Well, I have cuts in my hands where drywall mud has now decided it wants oh, to live. Yes. And I'm trying to think who else. Alejandro Kirk was on there. As a catcher, Vlad Jr.'s first base, Jazz Chisholm Jr., let's see, who else is on there? They're quiet. Mike Trout, Aaron Judge, oh, it's Wonder Franco, game. Zach Veen for the Rockies, top 100. They're kind of like children. When they're quiet, yeah. you know they're up to something. Like, what's going on? <laughs> Ortega for the Giants, Chrome, and then... A cracked ice or atomic Isaac Pacheco for the Detroit Tigers. I don't believe this is numbered. Oh, Turner Turner over Swanson was the craziest to him to Kevin S and oh, yeah. his highest. And then J Ram and Endeavors was a close call. Yeah. Yeah, Rafael Devers is doing pretty alright too, so. I'm just waiting on football season. Boo. <laughs> You shut your mouth when it comes to all that blasphemy. Baseball should be year round. No. Oh, and then Otani is uh, DH. Um, there is a, a Twitter debate as to who's the. Bowman in 3D, Austin Martin for the Twins. Best home run hitters. Like, who's the of best? Of all time? Yes. What? Like, even. Even with numbers, but, like, still, like, the best. Of all time. Like, yeah, like, think Quintana about. for the Nationals, Kowser for the Orioles, or Chrome. And then thinking about, like, how hard did they, you know, like, how far did they go? You know, are they, you know, how, how, you know, how good is it? Things like that. Did they do the juice, or did they not do the juice? Oh, because all time. I don't know. Like, do I believe Barry Bond should be in the Hall of Fame? No, but he, he had a very nice swing. And hit a lot of home runs and hit them very, very far. Yes, I do. He is, I think even without the juice, he still would have been all right. So I think he's one of the better ones. Yeah, Austin was, Martin for the Twins. A lot of people argued that one. King Griffey Jr. had a nice swing. Blaze Jordan. Jose Rodriguez for the Rangers. And Vera for the White Sox Chrome. And, of course, Otani was on there. What? Well, listen. I don't know. I'm just telling you what Listen, I'm saying. an Angels fan. 
no I'm matter what. But what he said. he should not be in even considered as one of the greatest home run hitters of all time. He shouldn't even be he, he shouldn't be anywhere in there. Look, I'm just telling you. That shouldn't even said. be con- he shouldn't even be considered. That's what? so that's so ridiculous to me. I don't know. That's one of them said it. Well, that person must be on mushrooms or something because they well, can't. It is Twitter, so there's always that possibility. High five futures, Marcelo Mayer for the Boston Red Sox. Yeah, he should not be considered. Barry Bonds was definitely the first one. Yes. Brewers. A lot. I don't even know how to say this kid's name. Jackson Churio. Brewers and Jordan Lawler for the Diamondbacks. Is his last name Churio? Churio? I don't know. Churio. Yeah, I, yeah, Barry Bonds is up there. Oh, did you know it was like, was it like the 32nd or the 39th anniversary of the um, George Brett's Oh, tar. pine tar incident? Yes. He sucks. <laughs> Somebody said they should make a card of it. Yeah, Francisco Alvarez. I'm sure someday they'll get to it. <laughs> Uh, Who's Sean the Angels? G said that was probably a 12 year old that never saw anyone else. Oh, talking about that person. Oh. Oh, that said Otani. Oh, yeah. Oh, you never know who Pie for the Rays. Yeah, that's that's crazy. <laughs> well, I mean, other people mentioned a lot of other players, but it wasn't. Yeah, I mean, they should have. Like, that's what I'm saying. That is so ridiculous to me. And I'm an Angels fan. I just, you can't. No. <laughs> Okay, well, I know. I'm just saying what somebody said. And we have our Garrett Mitchell. I think, what do they call this? Invicta or whatever. Invicta. What are you doing, girl? Card for the Brewers. Not numbered. One per hobby box. Yeah, I don't... So, greatest home run hitters. I mean, Babe Ruth, obviously. Verdugo for the Cubs. And Edward... Or Ed Howard for the Cubs. Chrome... Uh, like yeah, Babe Ruth and Barry Bonds. Uh, I don't know, Mark McGuire. I mean, he was on the juice. He was super juiced, but I mean, he can hit the ball really far. Frank Thomas, I think, is pretty good. Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, Reggie Jackson. You know, those kind of people are are nice. I would say Jackson. Power for the Royals, Rookie of the Year favorites. Uh, yes. No, he's not. <laughs> what? Rookie of the Year favorite. No. Oh. Triana for the Reds and Pacheco for the Tigers. Chrome. Oh, there's so many good players. Like I don't know. I, that, that's a very difficult one. Oh, Hank Aaron, home run. Willie. Oh Mayer. yeah, somebody mentioned Hank Aaron. Yeah, I mean. A few it, people mentioned Hank Aaron. I just. That is like the most difficult one because, in my opinion, and I think this is with everything, no matter what you compare, like position, hitting, fielding, whatever, it's very difficult to compare modern baseball, let's say the 80s up through current, with vintage baseball. It was a different ball game, people were built different, the technology is way, way different now. I mean, so I don't know. Benjamin Bailey for the White Sox and Quero for the Angels. So I don't know. Like that's like me and old Twillman have a debate all the time on who's the greatest first baseman of all time. He argues Albert Pujols. I said he's high on crack cocaine. That <laughs> Lou Gehrig is the greatest first baseman of all time. But yes, Pujols is very very good and one of the greatest. But I don't think you can compare them. They're not in the same time frame. I think you have to when you compare things break it down. Or take all these factors into consideration of. Yeah, Kevin S. I heard Hank, some guy named Hank, could hit a homer or two as yeah, well. Yeah, a homer or two. Tristan Cassis for the Red Sox. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's so ridiculous. Like, I don't like the home run That's argument. Just fun. I don't know. I know. I, I know. Fun. I just don't. I don't think there's a good answer. There's not a right answer. Quintero for the Cubs and Class, 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 Class A. Yep. Class Mariners. <laughs> Class A. But I, there's a lot of stuff. I don't know why it come up about hitting. Well, I think because Joey Votto has like 30-some strikeouts in, in the month of June or something like that. Like, he just strikes out like unbelievable amount. But Tony Gwynn is the greatest contact hitter of all time. 
That is a fact. You cannot, I mean, numbers argue that. I think that is. Hey, like, Joe R. How are you, sir? Peg Barrow, High Five Futures for the Pirates, insert. Joe R. I think Joe R. got a, a hit somewhere in there. I think so. Uh, Sanchez for the Marlins and Serda for the Reds, Chrome. Yeah, he has the Red Sox. Yeah. Me and Joe R. made a sweet trade. Oh, really? We did. Very nice, sir. Joe R., are you taking cards out of my house? Hopefully? Yes, but I'm getting one back. Um, one? Are yes, the Mike Trout 2011 update. Oh. Rookie card, I traded for nice. it. <laughs> Sean G., thank you for that one. What? He said, greatest hitter of all time, Joe Adele. By hitter, I mean hits and Jeff's breaks. hey -o. <laughs> <laughs> That is true. Sean G, you got it. <laughs> all right, let's do our clearly authentic. That was Bowman. Nothing super thrilling on the Bowman break, but... Very sad. That's okay. We'll do more. Hey, Matt B. How are you, sir? Hello. Come on, something good. I don't know. I thought it was going to be... Matt B., you had a hit somewhere in there, too. Yes. This is going to be Lewin Diaz, orange, five of five. Ooh. Miami Marlins. The Marlins? Five of five. Wow. Orange. Marlins would be Dave P. There you Yay, go. Yay, Dave P. Nice. Ow, ow. All right, let's do our first box of Bowman Inception. So you get, I think there's three in here, right? I don't Two know. Two autograph cards per box. All right. No, that was last year's option, right? Uh, 21 Bowman. They don't have 2022 Bowman Inception now yet. Yeah, this is 21 Bowman. I thought the white box was Inception. It's Topps Inception. This is Bowman Inception. Oh, I am so sorry, y'all. <laughs> Brian C. Five Five doing it is pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. What? He said, Brian C. said Five of Five is pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. Orange. And then Joe R. says he's doing well. How about you? We are doing well. Thank you for asking. Yes. We are... We were talking about the best hitters and the best first baseman. All right. For the A's, Soderstrom for the, well, like I said, for the A's. Jalen Palmer for the Mets. We have Christian Santana for the Tigers. I always like how these cards look. Okay, the hits, that's what I can't remember. Like so we tie. have our color variation, 84 of 99. Jared Kelly for the Chicago White Sox. Very nice. It's a white sock. And the white socks would be a Joe R. Hello, Joe R. Welcome. There we <laughs> go. Alrighty. Let's see. Reginald Presidio. Preciado. Preciado for the Cubs. Nice. Our first hit is going to be for the Pirates. 27 of 50, Shaylin Polanco. Pirates are 10T. Didn't really enjoy signing the entire card. Used just his initials, whatever. Oh, but 10T, congratulations. Yes. So, oh, Dave P is on 5 of 5. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. Yay. Yay. And then our <laughs> other autograph is Gilberto Jimenez. 553 out of 600 for the Boston Red Sox, Joe R. Joe R, man, you're killing it now. Nice. You got on and you're just killing it. Maybe you should have popped on earlier. Oh. Apparently. <laughs> nice. Very, very nice. All right, let's do our other box of Bowman Inception. Very nice. Every time that you say that, I think of Interception, which is like not good in... Football, you know. Well, it depends. If you're the defense, it's good. If you're the offense, oh, yeah, it's not. But you should know all about that because Patrick Mahomes throws she a lot of interceptions. <laughs> I was waiting on it. <laughs> He's going to have a baby boy. Well, he can, maybe he can teach him to throw interceptions. <laughs> all right, we have for the Padres, C.J. Abrams. For the Mets, Ronnie Mauricio. For the Orioles, Adley Rushman. Then 
our color variation. Well, it's supposed to be a color variation. Right. Jalen Palmer for the or the Mets. It wasn't the. It was not a numbered. Okay. Color variation. Oh darn! Sad. Jordan Walker for the Cardinals. Our first auto for the Pirates, 68 to 75. Leover Pagero. Tim T again. Blue. It's another pirate. Are you kidding me? It's another pirate. Yeah, there we go. Not the O'Neill Cruz that people are wanting, but 68 to 75. Very nice. He actually signed his name, so instead of a giving initial, so that's not bad. There you go. So you got a full signature now. And then. Next hit is the Oakland A's, 25 of 200, Robert Poisson. Poisson. That would be a J-P. I don't know if that's number 44. I don't know what, that, that's an interesting autograph, so. I don't know. Very nice, though. All right, J. Yay. Very nice. All right, and now our last box of the break. <gasps> It's the other inception. 2022 Tops Inception. Inceptions. And we will put another break up here probably Sunday night. So we'll see. We'll do the. I like mixers. So maybe we'll do some. We haven't done triple threads in a while. Triple threads and maybe some chrome, some optic. Who knows? Come on, as so. long as the cards are leaving the household. For more come in every day. Uh, he got a box in. I was like, are you kidding me? Yay. All right. So for the Reds, we have Jesse Winker. <laughs> for the Cubs, Wilson Contreras. Let me go behind here. Kyle Mueller for the Braves. Josiah Gray for the Nationals. And then our first hit is going to be for the New York Yankees, red, 32 of 50, Luis Gill. Nice, that's for John C. Hey, -o. Nice, that's a nice card. Very nice. Very nice, John C. Congratulations. Then we have the green, Josh Donaldson for the Twins. And a green Freddie Freeman for the Braves. Not numbered. Oh, not numbered. Nope. So that's our break. Let's do a hit recap then real oh, let quick. Let me type in hit recap so people can like tune in if they didn't want to tune in beforehand. All right. Hit recap. I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't want to hang out with us. You know? I know. That's a quick break. I mean, lots of autos, just not a lot of base cards, I guess. Yeah, there was a lot of autos. What are you looking at? No, I'm going to see what we're going to do next time. No, you weren't. I know better than that. I promise. All right, let's do the hit recap. Yeah, you. No, let's just do the hit recap. Okay. All right. Unless you're going to do the, the bubblegum ones. No. <laughs> I think you should add the bubblegum ones. No. <laughs> All right, 32 of 50, Luis oh, Gill. Oh, I'm sorry, Sean. Tops Inception, Yankees. Yeah, he did, we didn't pull any Indians this time. Nope. No Angels either. <laughs> like normal. 25 of 200, Robert Poisson for the Oakland A's. Poisson. 68 of 75, Leo Pagero for the Pirates. 553 out of 600, Gilberto Jimenez for the Boston Red Sox. 27 of 50, Shailen Polanco for the Pirates. 84 of 99, this is not an auto, this is just a color variation for the Chicago White Sox, Jared Kelly. We have the Bowman Invicta, Garrett Mitchell, not numbered for the Brewers. Not numbered, Isaac Pacheco, the, uh, Atomic for the Tigers. Dari Lorenzo, 26-125, Teal Shimmer for the Houston Astros. Paper. 69 to 150, Cooper Kinney for the Rays. We have an Atomic 88 to 150 for the Red Sox, Marcelo Mayer. 
have Jan Contreras, 289 out of 499 for the Cincinnati Reds. We For the no team spot, we have Randall Cunningham, gray framed, 5 of 25, mini framed autograph, very nice. We have a piece of underwear, a swatch, John Smoltz, not numbered for the Braves. Uh, Victor Robles, Swatch, Allen and Ginter, not numbered for the Nationals. And our 5 of 5, Luan Diaz for the Miami Marlins. So that is our break this evening. Quick break. <laughs> yep. What? Oh, they were all, a couple of the guys were disappointed, but uh, I was like, Jeff feels you 100%. I think we, and then I said, I think we should do a pool. Like, guess when Jeff will actually pull a nice uh, uh, angel, like a, a relic or an auto, that is not Joe Adele. <laughs> Never. So, yep, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes you hit it big, sometimes you don't. I'm always down on the don't. I feel you guys. Uh, but thank you guys very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Um, like I said, we'll probably put another break up on Sunday evening or first thing Monday morning. I'm going to get these all sorted and packaged up and dropped off, uh, to our local post office. We hand deliver them to our post office, um, on first thing Monday morning. So if you guys are new to us or if you just need a reminder, make sure you watch out on your Facebook messenger. I will send you your, uh, confirmation information, uh, via Facebook messenger. So, uh, Angie's going to take photographs, put them up on the Facebook group page. Um, be on the lookout if you guys, anybody's doing some tribute and they pull that Tim Salmon relic auto car, autograph card, I'm down to trade for it or buy it or whatever. Um, I will get that card somewhere. So, uh, but you know, remember this is a hobby in, for, for us and you know, don't take us too seriously. Don't take yourselves too seriously. We appreciate each and every single one of you and we hope to see you guys again soon in our breaks. So we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good weekend. Aloha. Bye.